Paralympians, both past and present, call Colorado Springs home. Some of them even working here at the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum, sharing their stories and why these games mean so much to them. McKenna Gear is a Paralympian and part of the guest experience team at the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in downtown Colorado Springs. I'm a two-time Paralympian in rifle shooting and won bronze in one of my events in Rio. I'm so born with all of my muscle groups, but not all of the muscle that I was supposed to have in them is there. So I can walk around, but long distances or standing in one place is really difficult for me. So I use a wheelchair to navigate through life probably 70% of the time. She says the platform winter Paralympians will have during the next several days will be so important to people around the world. 15% of the entire world has some sort of disability and we get to help spread awareness and advocate for accessibility worldwide. One of the athletes competing in these games is Gear's good friend Tyler Carter, who also works at the Olympic Museum. He was born without a fibula but grew up to become one of the best downhill skiers in the world. He spoke with us back in January. I've been grateful to have, you know, amazing parents. They've always supported me, you know, during my whole childhood. They never said that I couldn't do anything. They always said, you know, you can do anything you want. You got to set your mind to it. You got to give it everything you have. Absolutely, I'll be watching. <laughs> I think TC has three events and I'll absolutely uh, be tuning in to see how he does. Team USA has more than 60 Paralympians competing at the 2022 Winter Paralympics, which will run through Sunday, March 13th. You can check out the action on the NBC Family of Networks and find more information on our website, koaa.com. In downtown Colorado Springs, I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.